Well, it looks like Intel's finally producing some high-end graphics cards. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Jawa. Jawa's mission is to be the community for safely buying and selling PC parts at a reasonable price, offering low fees and great customer service, which I can definitely attest to as I personally bought this RTX 3070 from Jawa anonymously. And not only did it arrive quickly, but when I ran into an issue, they immediately replaced it with a flawless substitute and asked that I only send the old one back after I confirmed the new GPU worked great. And the best part is the price I got this card at was well below a their listings I could find anywhere else, likely thanks in part to Jawa's much lower seller fees of 9 to 12 percent, depending on when you join. So if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts on a platform with low fees and great customer service, be sure to click the link in the description below and watch out for some of my hardware that'll likely be popping up very soon. Okay, so we've been talking about Intel's Battlemage GPUs for quite some time, and unfortunately when they first launched, well, they didn't have those super high-end graphics cards that we have been waiting for. Now, maybe super high-end is a bit of a stretch, but what I'm talking about is GPUs that you guys are probably more interested in. I know, look, hey, the B580 is an excellent budget card, but you probably want something with 16 gigabytes of VRAM at an affordable price with a decent amount of performance that lands more into the mid-range and that's exactly what Intel may be actually producing while well, maybe finish producing and actually shipping very very soon. Now this information actually comes from a WCCF Tech article. I couldn't believe it when I woke up and saw this but it looks like according to their article that there's actually some shipping manifests that have been spotted. Now they got their information originally from Hayes over on Twitter and if we go ahead and we click on the link here you can see that yes there is indeed some images of what appears to be G31 slash G32 and it even has the dimensions which give even further credence to the idea that Intel may indeed finally be shipping these higher end GPUs. Now specifically G31 slash G32 are supposed to be in reference to the larger GPU dies and if this turns out to be true which I think it will be because it looks pretty official basically we're looking at what appears to be confirmation of these GPUs existence. Now that's very exciting and and below that, we also have Raw Mango stating that apparently this happened last time as well. And shortly thereafter, two to five months after this actually ended up happening last time, we did see the release of some GPUs. So, you know, if this does hold true, then we probably are talking about a January of next year, which is actually not that far away since we're kind of coming to a close of this year and not that long. But yeah, in any case, January of next year for these new GPUs to release, which would also actually kind of line up with potentially NVIDIA's RTX 50 Super Series launching around the same time. They did the same thing last time with the Super Series when there were some rumors about Intel releasing Battle Mage to begin with. So this definitely does kind of all line up and it's got me thinking, hey, this might actually be happening and it might actually be good. But how good, you might be asking? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at some charts that I've thrown together because, yeah, actually, I think these things might be pretty good. So, all right, if we take a look at the actual specs of what is likely to be the Intel Arc B770 and B780, we are talking about GPUs that are going to be significantly faster and larger than the last generation Arc A770 or the current generation B580. I mean, if you take a look at the B580, it's got a total of 20 XE cores, just the B770. And uh, to be clear, we don't have the confirmation on the naming as of yet. It could be B770 and B780 or B770 and B750. We'll have to wait until that's confirmed, but I'm calling them 770 and 780. I think it makes the most sense and hopefully that's what they do. But in any case, with the B770, that's already eight more XE cores, which would actually be around 40% more cores than the B580. So as long as they clock high enough, you're gonna be talking about a GPU that is significantly faster than the B580 and definitely gonna be a lot more interesting to I think you guys watching this video. Now, I do believe it will be running at the same clock speeds of 2.8 gigahertz. And I do think you'll go from 18 megabytes of L2 cache to 28 megabytes, which will help with the ray tracing and other things that definitely will be needing that extra cache. Now, I do also believe you'll be getting a 16 gigabyte frame buffer or 16 gigabytes of VRAM uh, running at 19 gigabits per second on a 256 bit bus, which will be 608 gigabytes per second. And if we do some quick math on 608 over the 456 on the B580, we're talking about a 33% increase in memory bandwidth. So it'll definitely be a lot better for running those games at higher resolutions as well. Now, in terms of the TDP, I am expecting this thing to come in 
close to 250 watts, although it could be a bit less. But then let's move on to the Intel Arc B780, because if you're like me and you just can't help yourself but burn as much cash as possible, well, you probably want the fastest card they can give you. That would be the B780, and this should have the full 32XE cores. Now, to be clear, this thing could have ended up being canceled. Maybe you'll only get the B770. I mean, who knows? Intel could be full of monsters just canceling things, but I don't think so. I think you're going to get the B780, and with 32XE cores, I mean, we're talking about an increase of 60% versus the B580. So 60% increase, that's a pretty big increase, and with these same clock speeds as well as memory configuration as the B770, the only other real upgrade would be potentially 32 megabytes of L2 cache, which again would be helpful for a lot of games and ray tracing, etc. So in terms of the actual specs, these things are going to be a massive performance uplift since they're just so massively increased versus the B580. But just how much? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at my next chart to get an idea. So we take a look at the B770. We can do some simple math and come to the conclusion that it'll likely have around 20 teraflops of compute performance. Now, to be clear, you cannot compare this to AMD or NVIDIA because they're just such different architectures that it just doesn't compare. It doesn't make any sense, but we can compare it to the B580. And if we do that, well, 20 versus 14.3, that's a pretty significant uplift. Now, the B580 was already around 15% faster than the A770, but the B770 would be a total of 52% faster than the A770 in a significant uplift over the B580 as well. And you're probably gonna get it for a decent price at the same time. Now the B580 has been selling out like crazy, so who knows, maybe they'll jack up the price a little bit, but I do suspect you will probably get it around $349. I could see $379, but I don't think they would go too much higher than that. And with a release date of a possibly quarter four 2025 or quarter one of 2026, yeah, again, it's not that far away. Now in terms of the B780, the monster, well, this thing would likely come in with 22.9 teraflops, that actually would put it at around 74% faster than the A770. That's a pretty massive increase. And in terms of price, I am expecting $399. So there will be no need to refinance your house or sell a liver to try and make this happen. No, this will actually be fairly affordable. In fact, $400, I mean, that would put it in terms of performance just a little bit behind the RTX 5070. But if you're getting 16 gigabytes of VRAM and it's coming in at $150 cheaper, maybe even just $130 cheaper. That is a way better deal to get the B780. And to be honest with you, I would be recommending this thing to basically everyone. Imagine a card that has enough video memory to play all of your games with no restrictions and enough performance to get it done as well. And to be clear, you do also get XCSS upscaling, which I do think generally is better than what AMD is offering. It's kind of closer to DLSS in my, at least in my opinion. However, it, again, it's going to depend on you know, a game per game basis, but it also does come with pretty good ray tracing performance as well. So we're talking about a card that could be a legitimate other option compared to the RTX 5070. Now the 5070 Super will likely be launching around the same time with 18 gigabytes of VRAM. And if it comes in at the same price as the 5070 at 550, that might still be a decent option, but you're still gonna be talking about spending $150 more potentially to get a card that really isn't gonna be that much faster and the extra two gigabytes of VRAM, well, that's just really not not worth honestly anything at that GPU performance in my opinion. So I do think that the B770 and the B780, if they're 16 gigabyte cards, as is to be expected, these cards are gonna be absolute bangers and I'm gonna be telling everyone to purchase one. So I hope these things do end up coming out sooner rather than later because guys, we can only wail and gnash our teeth for so long about super high GPU prices until somebody finally comes in to fill that vacuum. Looks like it's Intel and if we put our money where our mouth is and actually purchase them as I will be myself, well then we'll actually have a third legitimate option. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the Intel Arc B770 and B780 will actually deliver upon what we are expecting? Or do you think it's gonna fall short of expectations or God forbid, come in at too high of a price? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you wanna see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.